Hello. <clears throat> Good evening, fellow jungle friends. Good evening and hello, hello from Ajman. I'm Jungle Al, and uh, today I'm gonna show I'm gonna show you some lovebirds. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna explore lovebirds with their different mutations, different color phases, and uh, we're starting in Ajman because I, I just recently made a new friend, a friend who who I've recently bought some lovebirds from. He happens to be a breeder. And he's living in this building that, which is right behind me, and we're about to be we're about to head inside and check out some really cool birds because he's not only a hobbyist, he also breeds lovebirds. He's gonna tell us about all the different mutations, the different names, different color names, how they come to be, how, how do you care for lovebirds, what to feed them, how to accommodate them, their housing, and and the whole nine. So let's go. Alright fellas, pardon the face again and the hair, you know I live in a very hot, hot country, I mean the weather, but anyhow we're in the, gen we're in the gentleman's house, as you can see, cages, among cages, among cages, as you can see right there are the birds, which we're about to enter, we're about to see more right now. favorite colors, the one that's just flown left and right and now just entered the nest. Wow. And this color is called apple green, right? Yes, it's called in dilute. Dilute, so the one on the left green. is a dilute. Yeah, green dilute. Okay. This one's also a dilute? No. This is silver opaline. Silver opaline. Silver opaline. See, because we have all these colors, like I read about them, like I hear, I get confused. There are names like opaline, dilute, enos, like lutino, albino. And I, and I, we, oh, I, I always tend to get confused and. And sometimes they also differ among the different lovebird types because we have we have the black faced, we have the niasa. Oh, this is the black faced. Yeah. Very unique. And this one, albino. This one has some very nice contrast throughout his body. As you can see, guys, in the upper chest, he's got like grayish white. It's like a silver white. The bottom is like a like a sky baby blue, and the wing cover is like a cobalt blue. Wow. Is it a boy or girl? Because you know it, it, it's by the shape of the tail, right? This one is a. Female is the one with the white tail, and the male is with the narrow tail. Yes. Now I see it. Now I see it. Oh, this one's an albino, right? Albino. Albino and not in fishery, rosy gold. What? No, it's, not. it's fishery, fisher's love. Yes, not fisher, it's rosy gold. Calling rosy gold, lover. Rosy gold. Oh, I see them. Okay, okay. There we go. Oh, they're, oh, the, oh the, they, they just hatched. Yeah. Oh, congratulations, Mama. So 
looks like a dark red. Yeah. I don't know if you notice this guys, but it's like a darkish red. Yeah. Because in Roji Koji different is the ring eye. We have no hair ring. Right? Eyes ring. And fish ring have a ring. Yeah, I, I read this once. Like the rose eye colors has a ring around its eye. No ring. No ring. No ring. Yeah. The fish, yeah. Fishery is the one with the rings around? Yeah. Okay. These are the fisheries love bird. Or fishers. So they have the ring around their eyes. Yeah. I see. This calling pale fellow? Blue pale fellow. Red eye. Fishery. Pale feather. Fishery. Okay. And the ones I bought from you are split, you said. Are they same length? Right? Exactly, yes. Same beautiful birds. I have them, by the way. I put them in a cage like this, but, eat, but bigger. By the way guys, the one that you see right now is the color similar to the ones that I have. So this one's called the split, right? Yeah. A split, and I thought it was a dilute because in the way it's like a splash of color. Once they develop, they'll have to be put in another cage, yeah. Uh, this, is, this is one of my most favorite colors. I find this is a very unique color. Yeah. Mix of par blue with yellow. Yeah. This violet opaline. Violet opaline. Very, very unique color. Oh, look at that. Yeah, this is the Getting 
our home bit and if you don't have to find it, you can test bit, check test bit with red eye. Yes. Oh, I see, okay. Oh, when you say split, you know, you mean half of the offspring, half is albino, albino yes. or lutino. Yes. Okay, okay. And this albino, red eye, female, this is splutino. The chicks is coming, carmino. Creamino, you said? Yeah, Carmino. Right. Oh, with the snack. There's some parts of pie. Ah, okay. okay. That's why you put them there. Yeah. This one is different. And this green, split Eno. Dear chicks coming, Rutino O'Brien. Okay. <laughs> so when you say they split Eno, you see them physically. Okay? Some of their chicks are Rutino color and the other is Opaline color. That's what you mean, right? And this one's dominant for, for its color. So, receptive for female. Because this, uh, sorry to ask you, but you know, I'm, I get confused and uh, see, this one, this one is yellow boy. Because they have black eye. Yes. If red eye, this is rutino. Okay. This black eye. But this is split eno. Because the mother have rutino. Okay. This red eye. And this green also have split eno. When chicks coming, they coming Lutino open eye, red eye chicks coming, and black eye also coming. Okay, so they both red and black eye. Because this male is Splutino and opaline male. Chicks is coming Lutino opaline. Opaline is high mutation in the okay. Normal also and opaline. So Lutino is still black eye. No, Lutino red eye. Red eye. Alba, albino is black eye. Albino also have black eye because in the tree. Black. Black part. Black eye. Black eye. Yeah. Okay. And red eye. Yes, albino. I see. Okay. See? This black eye albino. Black in a split in. This black eye. This albino. We call him dead part. Dead part. Dark eye. Black eye, yeah. Yeah, so this is albino. Yeah. It is black eye. Okay. White and black, white bird, black eyes, black eyes. Makes sense. In case some of you guys are into cockatiels, here are some cockatiels. In case you're interested. Oh, ring neck also, Ring necks? Yeah. And here's a pair of ring necks. Where are your heads? about their noise. Yeah, because noise is not bad. Soundproof, no? And Very good. Yeah, this, this then I will start the part of this. This is my first part. And my own is my first part. This is your very first bird. Yes. My first birds were a pair of canaries. The okay. male died, but the female stayed. And I've taken her to the vet, you know, to make sure that she stays, actually stays. And when I get home, I'll definitely send you a video of her, along with the other birds I have. you take the birds to the vet? Uh, in five years, I didn't take. Oh. Because I have medicine and home, I will take. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Five years, you never took them to the vet and they survived. Wow. When egg bending coming, 
guys what's going on jungle al here again anyhow i just we just had a tour at our friend's house mr khan back in ajman i should i, I gave you a snap a snapshot of all the lovebirds he had all the colors be they the Lut lutinos the opaline the par blues the par blue mutation var variations etc etc now we're here in Sharjah and I'm gonna go see our we're gonna go see our friend Mr. Sadiq. Because the last time we checked his Instagram, he's got a whole new bunch of lovebirds, along with some other cool animals, cool birds. So let's go. Here we are guys. So these are your new lovebirds, yeah? But anyhow, about your macaw. Yes. This is Camlet Macaw. The color is Camlet, yeah? Camlet, yes. Okay, so, so what's the difference between Catalina and... This is yellow. Yellow is Camlet. This is Candelina. No, it's Camlet yellow. This is yellow. This side, you come in yellow. This okay. is yeah. This is Candelina. This is Rhea. I know, I know. Yeah. That's why when yeah. I saw it on Instagram, I said I must yeah. come here to see. Yeah, yeah. Friendly, huh? Yes, yeah, friendly. Hello. Is this a male or a female? The idea no, lagging DNA test. Hmm? Idea no, lagging DNA test. Okay, so... We won't tell unless we have a DNA test. Oh yes, inshallah. How much is this? This is 1,500. Okay, okay. This is 18,500 dirhams. Yes. Wow. What is... Wow. Got me with the wing. <laughs> Here we are. Hey, buddy. Hello. 
Whoa, you're a beautiful one, aren't you? Uh, so 18,500 drums, that's yeah. the final asking price? Is this the final price? This is the final 18,000. You can, can go down to 18,000, right? This is forever. And you have another color there, I know. Yes, this is another color. <laughs> This one's called Milli Gold, yeah? Yes, this is Milli Gold. This is a new color. Oh, that's a very, very beautiful bird. Yes. So, Milli Gold, from, yeah. from the sounds of it, it's a, it's a cross between a military macaw. You know. And maybe uh, one piece, uh, blue and gold, one piece Kamlina. Oh, so one, one of the parents is a blue, blue and gold? gold one Kamlina. And the other one's a yeah. Catalina. Yeah. I can see that. This is new color. This is Milli Gold. Very, very beautiful. Yeah. Do you know if this is a male or a female? I don't know. How much is this? This one, 18,500. Oh, same price. Yes, yeah. Very, very beautiful bird. I mean, I'd love to take take this guy with me home right now if I if I had the ability to if I if if, if circumstances permitted inshallah. inshallah next time yes I know you always get amazing birds inshallah. In, pretty much have the most unique birds in the whole of UAE wow Milli gold. This is a normal wild phase, yeah, military. I know I get I get it confused between the military and there's another one, all green, called the buffins. So the buffins is bigger and buffin is coming big size and lighter in green. Big size. And this is military. How much is that one? Yeah, yeah. Twelve thousand. Oh, this one's going for twelve thousand. Sm smaller than both this and that. One. But still beautiful. Hey guys, my bad. My bad guys. I got carried away with the macaws a bit. Here are some lovebirds, as promised. Guys, what's up? This one, this one. 
This is tail fallow. Tail fallow. Yes. This is pair 7,000. Oh, the other ones are blue, right? Yes. This is pair 7,000. 7,000 dirhams? Yes, this is red eyes. Oh, because of the red eyes. Eye. Yes, yes. So, oh, because it's, it's, it's yeah. a very rare yeah. genetic mutation. Yeah, this is mutation. This is red eyes. One piece follow, one piece as pili. That's what? One piece tail follow, one piece as pili. Split. Yes. One piece follow, one piece as pili. Oh, sorry. Half follow, yes. half split. Yes. It's, he's so hospitable that he left the store, he left the shop to get me a, a bottle of cold water, which is really kind. But he told me to wait here. So now I have customers. And what am I going to... Oh, there he is. This is one piece, follow, one piece, that's this. There we are. So yeah. this is split for red eyes? Yes. This is white one, red eyes. Do another one? That's this. Split for red eyes, yes. So the red eyes make some more expensive? Yes. So there is the, 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 the dark gray and yeah. white. Yeah. 900 from there? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. How much are these blue ones? These blue ones are offline. This is they are 600. Okay, these are the offline. Yeah. This one offline, this one evening offline. Eno offline. Evening evening offline. Evening offline. This one offline. What do you mean? Color, color. Color, you mean color? Color, you mean color? I see. I see. Okay. Ah, now I see. Ah, the other one. Now I see. Very nice. Trip for, tour for today tour trip exploration whatever you may call it but yeah that was pretty much it for lovebirds and we've gone through all the different mu color mutations with their different splits with their different very variations and so on and so forth how they're passed from one how colors are passed from one generation to another why certain birds are priced a certain way like for example as you, as you as you saw like some mauve colors are much cheaper than others like the ones that are that are, I showed you right now those are 900 dirhams which fetch to up to like 2 250 ish dollars around the neighborhood because they're split for eno it's a feature for, it's uh, they have a red eyed feature which is a genetic trait passed on from generation to generation hence their uh, their high commanding price anyhow guys that's it for now if you really like this uh, video please hit the subscribe feel free to hit the subscribe button below I look forward to having more videos of more birds more more birds more bees more cats dogs lions tigers you name it I'll do my best have it to uh, have it right in front of you guys as for now stay jungle fit stay jungle strong